In this video, I'd like to talk more about using the Pythagorean theorem, but specifically with isosceles triangles. So remember an isosceles triangle has two sides that are equal and also two angles that are equal. And for these example problems, we want to use the Pythagorean theorem, which remember occurs with right triangles. So if we had some random right triangle, the Pythagorean theorem just tells us the relationship between the side lengths. So let's say this is A, B, and C. Then this theorem is just that A squared plus B squared, the two legs, you add them together and you square them each, that this is equal to the hypotenuse squared. Remember the hypotenuse is just the long side of your right triangle and it's always opposite the right angle. So we can use this Pythagorean theorem to find one of the missing side lengths. Now, the main idea with this problem is that this vertical line essentially splits the triangle into two congruent right triangles. So this is gonna split at a right angle and this side length here and this side length here are equal to each other. So you might ask, how would we know that? And that's a little bit complicated, but basically noticing that these two triangles, they share one equal angle up here, they share a side length, and they share another equal angle down here. So that is the angle side angle congruence between two different triangles. So that would prove that these are two equal to each other, which means that this side length and this side length, and also these two angles, these must be equal as well. So that's how we would know that those two side lengths on the bottom are equal to each other. But the main idea is we can use this information and the Pythagorean theorem to find this missing side length. So since this bottom side got split into two equal sides, we now know that these are each of length three. And I do also wanna mention that we know this is a right angle because we found that since these are two equal triangles, this angle here and this angle here have to be equal to each other. And they're also supplementary, so they have to add up to 180. And if they're both equal, that means they both have to be 90. So we have this right triangle, which means we can use the Pythagorean theorem. So let's just focus on one of these triangles and set up our relationship between the side lengths. So we can call the legs A and B when matching it up to the theorem, and it doesn't matter which you call which, but the hypotenuse, the long side of the triangle opposite the right angle, that has to be C. So let's set up our equation. We have that A squared, that's three squared, plus B squared, that's x squared is equal to c squared, or 5 squared. So 3 squared, that's just 3 times 3, which is 9, plus x squared is 5 times 5, which is 25. And let's subtract 9 from each side, so that we get x squared is 25 minus 9, it's just 16. And to cancel out the square, we are going to take a square root of each side. So the square root of x squared, that's x, and Usually when taking a square root of each side, we would, put, we would put plus or minus, but we're talking about a physical side length, so we really only need the positive case. And the square root of 16, what number multiplied by itself gives us 16? That is just four. So the height of this triangle, this missing length here, this is just equal to four. 